Hi students, welcome back. Coming to our next step, subject that is object oriented programming language. So this is one of the important uh, programming language which is very helpful to you to develop uh, a software programs. So if you want to write any software programs in object oriented, you have to know the basic concepts that are used in the object oriented programming language. If you know the concepts, how to write the program, then it will be easy for you to implement the software. Okay. So whatever the programming languages uh, you have taken based on your uh, requirement, you can select the uh, different types of programming languages. Okay, so programming language allows programmers to mainly develop software. Okay, so the programming languages, it mainly allows programmer, allows programmers to develop softwares. So programmers or we the who are implementing the software. So these programming languages or allows programmers to develop software. There are mainly three major uh, families in the language. The three major families of language. So whatever the language, the programming language you have taken, mainly there are three major families in the programming language. So one is the One is the machine language, okay. One is the machine language and another is uh, assembly language. Next is high level language. So these are the three major families of languages. So whatever the programming language that will be having, uh, those are of different types, machine language or assembly language or high level language. So machine language means all the uh, language that should be in the forms of zeros and ones. Only the CPU can understand this language, the processor. CPU is nothing but the processor. The processor can understand this machine language. Whereas the assembly language in the form of mnemonics. Okay. So add, sub, move, like that. Okay. So this assembly language is always in the form of mnemonics. It will be next stage to the machine level language. Okay. Now, now coming to the high level language. High level language is uh, it's uh, everyone. It's just English type language. English type language here the syntax is similar to English uh, historically actually this high level language is divided into uh, procedural language high level, high level language is divided into procedural level language and the object oriented programming language so this object so now we understood that object oriented programming language is one of the high level language so this high level language may be the procedural language or the object oriented programming language so let us see the difference what is this procedural language okay what is this procedural language early earlier high level language or typically called as typically called as procedural language so all the high level languages whatever present earlierly those we call it as a procedural language so examples C COBOL Fortran HTML so everything these are the procedural languages now coming to the object oriented programming language so what is this object oriented programming language actually this is focus of oops language is not only on the uh, 
uh, this object oriented programming language is not only focus on structures but it is uh, mainly on modeling modeling the data okay so it is an approach object oriented programming it is an approach to develop software programming so nowadays everyone is preferring to work on object oriented programming in previously in earlier dates uh, so may uh, everyone is preferred procedural language after that they uh, introduce the object oriented programming language so this is a uh, mainly uh, it is an approach to develop all the software programming it is mainly based on the modeling of the data items okay so examples for this is c++ .net java so these are all comes under this object oriented programming language actually this is trying to simulate the real life things into your programming so the main object oriented programming is trying to simulate real life things so whatever the real life things that are there into your programming so all it's only it's everything is focused on the real life things real life things whatever we are using real life objects so it's object oriented programming is focused on the real life things so nowadays everyone is preferring to work on object oriented programming language rather than the procedural languages so actually oops was introduced to overcome the flaws in the procedural approach of program. so whatever the disadvantages that in the procedural language that here in oops uh, they are overcome so to overcome this we will go for the object oriented programming language so what are those approaches this uh, oops is following to overcome the uh, procedural language so oop was introduced to overcome flaws means the drawbacks in the procedural approach to programming so procedural approach to programming such as so what are those reusability and maintainability so because of these main reasons reusability and maintainability we are preferring the object oriented programming rather than the procedural approach so in the procedural approach you are not supposed to use the re there is no option for the reusability and the maintainability is also a difficult in procedural approach whereas in object oriented programming language you can have the facility like reusability and maintainability so the main fundamental idea main fundamental idea behind the oop language object oriented language you are said object oriented language is to combine into a single unit with both with both data and functions that operate on the data okay so data and functions that operate on that data such as such a unit you call it as
object. So what it means? Actually, the main fundamental idea behind the object language is to combine uh, all the language, all the functions or structures into a single unit. So that single unit consisting of the data and functions. Okay, in the procedural language, you are having your, it is just like a sequence of programming. You are just declaring the statements. After that, you are calling the functions. After that, again, you are calling the functions and you are doing that. Okay, so there is no chance for the reusability and maintainability. Whereas in object-oriented programming, uh, the main idea in this object-oriented language is to combine all the data into a single unit. Means all the data and functions are hiding in a, or uh, combining and they are operated on that data such unit you call it as an object so in that particular object you are having the data and functions and whenever you call you can uh, call that data and functions okay you can reuse in the program whenever you need it so that is a main fundamental idea behind the object oriented programming it is combining all the statements or the variables or data and functions into a single unit okay and operated on that data okay it is such as you call it as object now coming to the benefits of this what are they benefits of object oriented programming so why we are using this object oriented programming let us see the benefits okay so the first benefit is it can easily it can easily upgrade from small system to large system from small system to larger systems so if you are having anything on the if your code is it's just simply a small system you can upgrade it to a large system that facility will be provided in the object oriented programming and the next benefits it it can easily uh, easy to partition easy to partition work for same program so if you are having a program the same program that program can be partitioned and you can work uh, separately uh, later then you can uh, combine or you can integrate that work that facility will be provided in the object oriented programming so next benefit it's having the facility like message passing technique message passing technique that makes uh, communication easier okay so with the help of this message passing technique the communication becomes easier in the object oriented programming language okay next coming to another benefit in the oops so that is the software complexity the software complexity can be easy managed so whatever the software that we use in that software software complexity can be managed in the object oriented programming easily okay uh, and next is the maintenance cost maintenance cost is less so whatever the maintenance cost that is uh, there in the object po oriented programming that will be easy uh, and it uh, it is very less when compared to the other uh, procedural languages or other languages and then it is simply to implement also simple to implementation so here we are using just a simple english type languages okay and everything will be inherited or encapsulated so it is very simple to implement object oriented programming language so these are the different benefits thank you